Hello guys, today we are going to discuss the topic of industry and industrial pollution and environmental degradation. This topic is from chapter Manufacturing Industries from Geography Book of 10th class. I am Ayush Agarwal, a 12th class student from the Surgeon School who will be explaining this topic today. First, we are going to understand what is industrial pollution. Industries are very important for India's growth and devel development, but industries also causes many problems like pollution and pollution and causes different and causes different kind of things which causes environmental degradation. We can easily classify pollution into four categories like water, air, land, and noise. If we uh, now we are specifically going to learn about air pollution. Air pollution. Air pollution is caused by high presence of highly undesirable gases such as such as sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide, and some airborne particles and mat particle materials such as dust, spray, mist, smoke, and many more. Smoke is mainly emitted by industries such as chemical and paper factories, brickings, refineries smelting plants basically small and basically it includes small and large industries which ignores the pollution norms and laws that have been made by the government these in these kinds of toxic gases can be very hazardous and can have very long term effects uh, on the environment they can have se they can severely affect humans plants animals health and can damage atmosphere as a whole now we are going to learn about water pollution water pollution water pollution it is mainly caused by organic and inorganic waste that has been discharged by many many industries into different kinds of water bodies the main culprits for this is paper pulp chemical textile and dyeing petroleum refi petroleum refineries Trineries and electroplating industries that let out various things like dyes, detergent, acid, salts, heavy metals like lead and mercury, pesticides, fertilizers, synthetic chemical, carbon, plastics, rubbers into the water bodies. Fly ash, phosphorus, gypsum, iron, steel slags are also one of the major solid waste that has been discharged in our water bodies in the country. The second last topic on which we are going to discuss today is thermal pollution and noise pollution. Thermal pollution is basically hot water that has been released from different kinds of industries and thermal plants into rivers and ponds. Waters from nuclear power plants and nuclear weapon production facilities can be very dangerous and it can cause cancer and it can lead to bird effects and miscarriages also. Soil and pollution are very closely connected and closely related to each other as rainwater provides many different kinds of particles which has been toxic particles which has been mixed in them the rainwater carries in it and the soil and when the rainwater falls on the soil the soil also gets polluted with the contaminated water itself if we now talk about noise pollution noise pollution has various different kinds of effects on a, a specific individual like irritation increased heart rate anger blood pressure increase and it is one of the most important and one of the significant source of the stress the main cause of industry the main cause of noise pollution is industries and const and construction machinery factory equipment generators saws electric drills these kind of things make a lot of noise and these are mainly specific uh, causes of noise pollution the last topic which we are going to discuss is of control of environmental degradation. First of all, the method that would be take for controlling the environmental degradation is the minimizing the use of water by processing the water by processing the water by reusing it and by processing the water two or more two or more three times on suggestive stages and recycling and reusing the water itself. Two we can also harvest rainwater perfectly to meet our water requirements.
treating hot water and effluent before releasing them into rivers and ponds is a very important step and we have and it it can be also be done in a three stage or three phase program like first as program or treatment the first the primary treatment it is done by mechanical means this basically involves screening grinding fluoricating and sedimentation the second treatment by biological the second treatment is all by biological processes the third is by the tertiary treatment by biological chemical physical processes this in, involves recycling of the wastewater now we'll be going to discuss the last topic in the recent years the use of groundwater has exceeded and now it has become a very big threat 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 that how should we properly treat and this matter uh, treat and how this matter should be regulated le legally toxic matter in air can be treated and reduced by fitting precipitators and smoke stacks in the factory and the smoke also can be reduced by using oil and oil and gas in the industry instead of coal the generators with silencers should be fitted and machinery should be redefined for more efficient more energy saving and more silent work and the industry should also start using more noise absorbing kind of material to reduce the amount of noise pollution outside the sustainable development challenges requires economic and environmental concerns and we should have we should give our whole efforts towards this topic of environmental development and preservation thank you guys for listening to my lesson and my explanation i hope you like it and i hope you might meet again